Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Hope you guys out there crushing it. And hope you pay attention to what you're putting in your body and what you put in your family's body. And uh, hope you out there living well. And most of all, I hope you're being a spectre gadget like me in the stores. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I hope you all living well. So um, um, I want to just say too, I'm going to start um, shouting out to people randomly who leave good comments in the comments. Uh, some of you guys leave such nice comments, and I appreciate that. So I'm just going to do that randomly um, to let you know that I appreciate what you're saying and that I appreciate you watching my channel. So I'm going to start doing that on every video, just shouting somebody out and just appreciate them commenting on my on my channel, okay? So anyway, I want to talk about Frankenfish. Yes, there is Frankenfish, and I'm not talking about... I'm talking about fish, real fish, uh, that you probably eating or somebody that you know maybe eating it or, you know, so it's out there, guys. I just wanted to know that it is out there. So I want to break it down to you today and talk about farm fish versus uh, wild caught fish. Some of you probably already know what the difference are, but the ones that who don't, I want to talk about it today and just break it down to you in a way that you will understand like I did. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna talk about farm fish. Farm fish is raised in um, control pens and they have large tanks also. So those are farm fish and they fed pesticides and you know, all different type of stuff too to make them grow. So, um, I don't know what happened to my other pointer. I missed my other pointer. I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, I guess this one will do for now. But I got to get my whip back. I guess it got legs and walked away. But I will find it. I like that one better. But I guess I just do this, use this one for now. But anyway, according to GMOAnswers.com, the Aquanch, Aquanch Vintage Salmon. I think I'm pronouncing that right. The Quad Vantage Salmon is a transgenic, transgenic salmon. It's a fast-growing salmon. It's genetically engineered salmon that grows uh, in the market size half of its time, guys. And um, this salmon grows 16 to 18 months versus to 32 to 36 months. So this Quad Vantage Salmon uh, grows really fast. Uh, 16 to 18 months. So what it is is feed. They're feeding these pesticides and stuff to this fish, and also it has the DNA of another fish. So let's go ahead and break it down to this DNA of another fish that it's uh, genetic modified DNA DNA into this salmon as well. So the salmon contains growth hormone genes from the fast growing chicknook. It's a chicknook salmon. And uh, the chickmuck salmon is, uh, and it's, it's, the chickmuck sal salmon has a promoter pout. Uh, this pout is an ill pout in the family size of the Zeroetic Sedae. I think it's a Zeroetic Sedae. Um, it is found in the northwest of the Atlantic Ocean, off the coast of New England and eastern Canada. So basically, they got this Chinook salmon and it's aquavantage salmon uh, transgenic with the DNA in it to make this salmon uh, grow fast and also to let's just flip right over what else that is doing to uh, this salmon to make it called a frankenfish so this fish has antifreeze po protein in its body I mean in its blood um, given the ability to survive in near freezing water Enable salmon to grow year round instead of seasonally. So I think it may be tougher or it may not be tasty. So this salmon contain, contains those two DNA of the chicken uh, protein, and then there's the other salmon that I was talking about, and it has uh, antifreeze protein in it and the blood, and it's given the ability to survive in near freezing water. Okay, so they're putting all this stuff into this uh, Franken salmon, and they're saying that 
it's okay for us to digest, it's okay for us to eat, they put they feed in the world and stuff. So how can this all this DNA cross gen gender, you know, pesticide be good for our gut or our body? So if you go and look at all my channels, you'll see that some of the things that I was talking about that um, I did my research on that was showing that it may have caused problems with the body, the gut, you know, all kinds of things, inflammation. So go back in my channel and look at that. And I'm talking about a lot of this stuff. So, um, so let's get back to my topic. Um, according to a uh, strong movement, strong body, strong mind, strong girl, uh, the most common farm raised fish are salmon, sea bass, cod, tilapia, and certain uh, cat, no, and catfish. Farm fish are often fed antibiotics and treated with pesticide to fight off diseases and often left in unpleasant uh, conditions like sea lice. Some, um, some pesticides are so strong and deadly that they have uh, sometimes kills fish and if exposed to and exposed to them so this is so strong sometimes it kills the fish that it's exposed to uh this uh pesticide that they use in, in these farm tanks so let's see uh, farm raised fish also tin contains lower levels of nutrients of omega-3 fatty acid found in farm fish aren't used by our bodies like omega-3 contains in the wild so in other words that this uh, fatty acid omega-3 that they're saying that is good for us with these farm fish, uh, should, they're saying that it's not, we cannot consume it, these uh, these pesticides and all of this DNA that they added into this frankenfish to, to uh, be okay for us to consume like the fish in the wild that we have been eating for centuries, way before this uh, Jimbo, um, farm fish and all this stuff came out so um, so that's what it's saying that it's not really uh, processing in our body like the omega-3 in the wild does to our body our body recognizes that but really don't recognize this farm fish so yeah do your research do your research guys I did my research and I always tell you to do your research you know so always do your research and I, like I said, I appreciate you coming back to my channel and checking me out and stuff and listening to what I have to say. But I have done my research and also, you know, owe it to yourself and your family to do your own research as well. So wild caught fish. Wild caught fish come from the ocean, river, and all, often natural bodies of water. Wild caught are caught by fishermen. So wild caught, you know, it's like for the ocean, the fishermen go out there and they catch the fish. So that's the wild caught fish that's in the ocean. So that's pretty much what wild caught means. So according to tastyyummy.com, from all nutrition standpoints, substantially so source, wild caught fish is tasty, is nutrients dense, heart healthy, brain booster, and whole food. Wild caught fish, salmon are rich in omega-3 fatty acid, vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin B complex. Vitamins, <clears throat> vitamins, selenium, zinc, potassium, and iron. Wild caught, uh, wild caught represents a high quality of lean heart and healthy heart protein. So all of these things that the wild caught fish is, you know, um, it's good for you. So, um, you know, they're saying that the wild caught is better. And, you know, the fisherman's been getting fish in the ocean for years, for years. And, you know, and I've noticed, I don't know about you guys, I have bought fish. And before I even know about all this stuff, and the fish was kind of like hard or it was kind of tough. And then, you know, it's, you know, bigger. And, you know, I didn't even know all these things until I started doing my research. So that's why I'm so passionate about doing this type of show and also uh, living a full circle healthy life. Like I said before, you may see me doing all kinds of things and adventures and skits, cooking, 
uh, doing um, shakes or whatever it is, but also focusing on this full circle health of life um, that I'm living right now and dedicated to do my research to continue to live a good full circle healthy life. So there you go guys, wild caught versus uh, farm fish. I hope you understand now the difference between them and what the effects. So like I said, you also can do your own research and um, leave comments in below. Let me know what you think and um, what is your experience, you know, with fish or does the fish taste the same to you or, you know, not good or whatever the case may be. Please leave a comment at the, at the bottom. I definitely appreciate that. Like I said in my video next, I'm going to shout out to a random person uh, who leaves a comment in the comments. And I'm going to start doing that on all my shows. So just to let you know that I appreciate you leaving a comment at the bottom, okay? So with that said, I hope you guys continue to go ahead and crunch it. Read your labels. And I even seen a lot of people, especially guys in the stores, they be reading labels. They be reading labels and stuff. And uh, and I'm so glad to see that now. So I say to myself, when I do see it in the store, that, okay, well, they're getting educated. They're educated. They're educating themselves. They have heard something. And they're investigating. So anyway, peace out. Have a good week. And I will see you right here on my next video. Peace out.